Hi folks, David Waring here again with InformTrades.com and today's lesson of the day. In today's lesson we're going to continue our module on the ProReal Trend Analytics Package which comes with the ProReal Time Charts with a look at how you can use these analytics to automatically scan all of the markets available in the ProReal Time Charts uh, for potential trade setups resulting from the market's uh, price in relation to support and resistance levels in those instruments. So let's get started. Okay, so if you haven't done so already, you're going to want to go ahead and hit the pause button and click the link above this video where you can register for free access to the entire Pro Real Time package with end of day data for as long as you would like so you can follow along with these lessons as well. Okay, so we've looked at how to let the Pro Real Time package help us determine where support and resistance is in the market. So in this lesson, we're going to look at something called Pro Real Time Trend Detection, which is a pretty neat scanning tool that works off of the uh, Pro Real Trend feature that we looked at in our last lesson and scans through all of the different markets that you would like it to um, to alert you to potential opportunities for uh, you know patterns that are developing in the market like triangles or um, you know just breaks of support and resistance in general so to get to the pro real trend detection module uh, you just click display and then pro real trend detection okay and that's going to bring up the pro real trend detection list and as you can see at the top here you have some um, some uh, tabs here uh, depending on what you want to do with that all right we're going to stick with major supports and you can select the markets that you would like it to scan I'm going to select uh, all Nasdaq stocks here the period that you would like it to scan I'm going to select daily for that and then what the criteria is that you would like it to scan for so you have channels uh, you have triangles here just general horizontal support all support um, you know and, and it's going to be resistances and those types of things on the other tabs okay and then the density is the number of support and resistances you want on the chart um, I normally keep that at low because it, it normally puts a pretty good amount of support and resistance lines on the chart there okay so the first thing I'm gonna select here is triangle support proximity okay and you can see the list updates there and you can see here if I click on the first triangle support proximity there I'm gonna go ahead and maximize the, it, it changes the chart to nanogen Inc which is the first stock in the list there and as you can see there there's a triangle on the chart here that's trading right near support this descending triangle right here so I'm gonna go ahead and remove these other lines by clicking hide pro real trend line there right clicking and selecting hide pro real trend line so you can see that a little better I'll go ahead and take this Bollinger Band off here as well and you can see that there's a nice triangle uh, that this that the package has alerted us to that the uh, market is about to potentially break out below so it's a good way to scan through um, a bunch of different instruments you can do this with futures and stocks and forex if you want any of the, basically any of the markets that are on the package there and uh, it'll it'll show you uh, what the pattern is okay so let's let's just go back to channel support proximity let's click on the first one there and you can see that go ahead and maximize this that this stock is trading near a channel support line let me go ahead and hide these other lines here okay and you can see this nice channel here that the uh, that the package has identified that it's trading right to the bottom of that and you may want to look at that as a chance for to trade the range there or to trade a breakout below that support line should that happen okay um, and so you can play around with this yourself it's pretty neat because normally the uh, advanced features like this uh, for alerts and things like this um, require programming knowledge which here on the pro real trend uh, real-time package they do not okay and as we've learned about in previous lessons if we wanted to set an alert if the market did break below that line say just click on the alert window there and then go ahead and say price is less than okay 
selected line and then we've got an alert that will be alerted if the market does trade below this trend uh, or this sorry this channel that the pro real time has identified okay so that's our lesson for today as always if there's any questions or comments please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and good luck with your trading